Chorus is an unusual name for a division of a big global asset manager like AXA Investment Managers. Could you briefly explain what the name signifies and what Chorus does? Yes, so uh, Chorus uh, is uh, investing in a uh, different set of uh, premiers uh, strategy. So what we wanted to convey uh, as a message in using a Chorus is you need to get a lot of small details right. It's a lot of small things, a bit like the small rivers become eventually a big river, a bit like in a chorus, not a single voice needs to be you know, stronger than others. You need to fine tune everything and collectively it can achieve uh, something uh, great and amazing. And that's really what we try to do uh, at Chorus, really deliver uh, a sound value proposition to our investors in, uh, in a collective uh, manner, on a diversified manner. Are you a singer? I'm not a singer, but I believe that music uh, names resonate quite well uh, with the clients. And I believe that the name uh, can convey a lot of the meaning uh, and can be uh, speaking a lot to the investor community. That's a good idea. Investing in risk premium seems to be a very popular trend right now. How does your multi premium strategy differ from similar approaches like factor investing, e.g.? I think I could not agree uh, more with you. I think uh, it's extremely topical. You see many uh, existing managers, new managers, more clients across the globe uh, investing into, into premier strategies from the most institutional clients as well as uh, you know, banks and private banks and distributors. Uh, what we have decided uh, to do is to position ourselves for what clients need the most. So we believe that clients need the most around uh, products were properly market neutral, so no direction in the financial markets at any point in time. We believe that clients also favor products were very liquid, uh, daily liquidity, so it has been what we have chosen. And the third element uh, we believe is are important for clients is the explainability of what we do. Uh, so we have really chosen these three pillars, uh, market neutrality, strict market neutrality, second of all, daily liquidity, and third of all, explainability. So that's the flavor of our product, and we believe it's a, a good differentiating factor, very client-centric. Mm -hmm. So do you focus solely on the stock markets, or do you take other asset classes into account as well? So overall, we believe the more, the better. Uh, but we restrict ourselves to very liquid uh, underlying. Uh, so that we can fulfill our promise of daily liquidity. So we roughly find 2,000 stocks who qualify for liquid stocks. We also uh, trade uh, seven uh, interest rate curves. Uh, we can be both long and short, as well as 24 uh, currencies. And we also trade volatility in the S&P. They all have in common to be liquid, to be easily uh, accessible assets, whether it's long, whether it's short. The return investors should expect from your multi premier strategy lies between 5 and 10 percent per annum. How do you arrive at that number? I would say, uh, and I think it's a very good question, what kind of return, but I would say you can't speak about the return without speaking about the risk. Overall, we believe that we have a goal of making one for a unit of risk of one. It's already something which is uh, bringing significant uh, value to investors on which is not uh, that easy to deliver. So that's really our goal. So we have designed really our product uh, more as delivering something which is more predictable and stable on a kind of yearly basis uh, on with mitigating drawdowns. And we believe that with that risk framework, we believe that we can achieve a 5 to 10 percent return being consistent with that risk uh, objective. Um, how well does the strategy work for investors who have to comply with Solvency 2, for example? Can it be implemented effectively when taking capital charges into account? We see that as a, as a good uh, um, evolvement uh, of the market. Uh, we are very much in favor, as I've mentioned before, of more explainability, more liquidity. So we believe that to deliver our proposition in a UCIT format, uh, Luxembourg uh, was the right uh, way to answer the questions of investors regarding uh, regulation, explainability, as well as easy to understand, and uh, also uh, all uh, stakeholders uh, uh, being uh, regulated. Uh, now, with instance to more uh, capital uh, allocation, mm -hmm. we believe that the fact that we are properly market neutral 
uh, means that uh, in terms of uh, capital is likely to be more efficient uh, for investors than something directional uh, in terms of capital. So we believe that our positioning should favor uh, investors uh, who are under uh, Solvency II or similar type of uh, regulation. How does a multi-premier strategy fit into a traditional portfolio that mostly consists of stocks and bonds? Yes, I think the traditional asset allocation, uh, as you mentioned, is to buy fixed income assets as a way to get income on protection uh, and to use uh, equities as a long-term uh, value creation. That model has been a little challenge with rates uh, going higher, with equity markets being more volatile. So we believe the best way to serve a client is to have something uncorrelated uh, so that if markets go up or down, you are not sensitive to, uh, to those outcomes. And therefore, uh, the positioning of our uh, product for a client is really to be part of the third pillar. The first pillar is, let's say, protection and income. Second pillar is equities, long-term value creation. And we believe that there is a room for a third pillar, which is absolute return. Uh, and this really what we go uh, for. Are there any significant uh, diversification benefits? So I think the aim of our fund is indeed to provide this diversification benefit in being non-directional. So set of advice really a beta of uh, zero versus the market. Uh, since we are live, our realized beta has been minus 0.006, so very much uh, close to zero. Uh, and it means that really we could not find a better diversifier. Are there any traditional or non-traditional asset classes your strategy synergize particularly well this, with? No, I think if you were to, to simplify a bit what we do, you can see that as a, as a easier accessible uh, investment in uh, the alternative space. Uh, so uh, ideally uh, to be part of an alternative bucket, uh, but where you can have uh, additional uh, you know, liquidity, regulation and uh, no change of uh, uh, investment style. It has been really uh, the, the positioning. We believe that once you are really a true diversifier, really uncorrelated, any type of asset allocation will benefit from it. So we believe there is no particular synergism more with equities or fixed income or in, in, in any uh, other type of assets. Now we believe that to offer a product with liquid uh, at a time where clients have chosen to invest their money in more and more in illiquid assets, we believe it's a big plus. So I see that more as something complementary in terms of liquidity. We have seen really the uh, uh, involvement of investors into, for example, private debt or private equity or infrastructure or real estate have been increasing significantly. So we believe to balance it in terms of liquidity needs makes sense. So I would say uh, our uh, daily liquidity fund should be a good complement in terms of liquidity management for clients.